uh, last little one on on what you you know what the purpose of random encounters are. They could just be a good way to tap your players' resources. <laughs> this is especially relevant in a game like Five E, where players have a lot of stuff, and the game is kind of balanced around them burning through their stuff. Uh, so yeah, you just random encounters are a really good way to burn through their ammunition, you know? Yeah, it's true. You know, it's 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 we the, definitely we're feeling it in your game when we we're like three of those deep. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like Aunt and Brett were like, well, I'm out of inspirations, so we got to get real creative real soon. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> like, That's oh, the thing, fuck, dude. Especially, you know, I mean, that the final march with the caravan, right? Like that was a that was a similar kind of thing. It, it wasn't in that particular case. It wasn't your character's resources as much, but it was the resources of the entire group burning and burning and burning and it was like yeah put the tension on yeah yeah um now granted i will say in that particular instance i think i fucked up because i i stretched things too thin but that was a you know that was an experiment i tried <laughs> yeah and uh, i mean look there's there's things like that are worth trying and either you know maybe succeeding or failing at because that be that allows you to extrapolate not only into the system you're playing, but like other systems as well. Yeah, it allows you to extrapolate ideas, especially because, you know, when you're playing at your home game, you can't play test things. So, you know, you kind of just the have entire to... games of play. Test. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> the games, you know, you have to play test as you go. You have to figure it out. Like I was literally coming up with my own math, my own DCs, all that shit for that particular segment of the game. And I had no way to test it really other than looking uh, side note i was literally fun fact peek behind the curtain i was looking up or i had pulled up a um a like dice calculation program and i was punching in the math to put it into percentages so i could figure out like okay if i want this thing to happen roughly 50 percent of the time what what did the dice need to look like for that to to work out <laughs> wild yeah, yeah, I was literally calculating the dice rolls because I had no other way to, you know, I had no other way to get that information, right? I, I can't, I can't have you guys play test it because I wanted it to be like a, you know, a thing in the moment. So, yeah, I was literally looking up dice rolling calculations and punching the math and getting percentages and all that shit. Yeah, I, I, that was fun. So it's funny, you <laughs> like, you do a lot of work in the, on the back end. To sort of alleviate that, and I think this is funny because this will be me and Matt talked about where we're like, we may or may not just shift that shit on the fly. <laughs> it's like, oh, definitely overtune this, crank it, but you have said you don't like doing that. So you've like figured out a system to help you do it without having to. Yeah, essentially, yeah. If, if I do enough, if I f if I fiddle and, and estimate, you know, it, it's never gonna be exact, of course, but if I estimate the math well enough on the back end before it happens. I can I put myself I set myself up for a more comfortable position while it's happening. It's not 100% obviously, it's not foolproof, but yeah. Um but yes, yeah, tapping tapping your player character's resources, especially in a game like a 5e, like a Pathfinder where players have a lot of resources to tap into, random encounters are great for that.